Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. It is Halloween weekend and we are getting ready to go to a Halloween party. Y'all can see that my office is atrocious. I got stuff everywhere. I haven't put any of my fall decorations out yet, which is crazy. I don't really have too much, but I want to bring out my fall decor. We are getting ready to go to Kendra's Halloween party. I went to Ulta earlier. I got some Camille Rose, some Shea Moisture. This is the shampoo that I was running out of. Y'all know I love me some Eco Style Gel, so I bought not one not two not three but four of these so they didn't have the huge jug and then i brought some shea moisture leave-in conditioner what else did i buy i have another bag oh i already took it off the bag i brought some foundation because y'all know i've been going on a bunch of trips and my skin is tanned i have one for the one time one for one of my natural tone and i had to get this dark color because i'm tanned <laughs> none of my foundations that i do have match my skin tone hopefully that matches my skin color it did in the store but you know when you get home under different lights it don't look the same but anyway we are getting ready to go to kendra's halloween party which i think is going to be super fun i'm going to put what i forgot to tell y'all michaela got all four of her wisdom teeth pulled the other day <laughs> Huh? You high? <laughs> Is you crying or you laughing? You laughing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My poor baby, I felt so bad for her. It's been two days since she got her all four her wasn't cheap for. And um, I'm just glad that we got that taken care of because if you seen my Puta Kona vlog, she was having teeth pain back then and we found out it was her four wisdom teeth. So they are all out. Last week, I had to take my oldest son and get his two wisdom teeth taken out. So yeah, it's just been a lot of back and forth going to the dentist. But anyway, we're about to get ready to go to the Halloween party and I just brought some face makeup from Party City. We went to Party City earlier so Devon could get him a mask to wear for Halloween. It was just super crowded. I don't know why every year I always wait to the last minute to go to Party Party City but I just brought a bunch of makeup like this to throw on my face and then I grabbed these sponges from the Dollar Tree. My plan is to go as Beetlejuice. Just realized I don't have any green um, dye to put in my hair. You know like the washable dye. I don't have any of that to put in my hair so we're going to make it do what it did. I'm only going as Beetlejuice because I have a pinstripe outfit that I brought years ago. Thankfully I can still fit it that I'm going to wear for tonight so I really didn't have to buy anything. I think I'm going to wear a blazer because it's pretty cold outside. I'm going to put a little green flower on the side of my blazer. So I'm about to do my face and stuff so we can get out of here. My office is a mess because we're going to be bringing out the fall decor i'm usually on it i'm usually having my fall decor out the first day of fall so i'm gonna bring it out that'll last me all the way through thanksgiving and then y'all know my favorite holiday is coming up so since we got all the fall stuff out this is some of my christmas stuff too you can already see totes green and red so i'm gonna go through some of my christmas stuff too i don't know what color we're gonna do this year did you decide what color you're gonna be doing for christmas i'm still debating but let me know a ball last night i had so much fun at my best friend halloween party oh my goodness she had all the details down to a t she was even serving shots and medicine cups with the syringes it was so cool back to pulling out all of this fall stuff so i went through my fall decor and it wasn't where it was at i found these <laughs> y'all remember these from last year I feel like we can do a lot better than that. And I did pull out these pillowcases that I ordered from Amazon and I had them on these pillows right here, which this is a cover as well. I don't know if I'm gonna take those covers off of those pillows. I might just put this one on one. As far as in the dining room, this has been the staple look in my dining room. The pompous grass with the pictures. And I think I wanna change that. I can take these pictures out of the frame and just replace it. I brought this cute pumpkin. Look at this. Isn't this so cute? And then I went to 
Hobby Lobby and I brought this mat, which looks like this. I wanna put it on my front door, but we've been having issues with those polka dot lantern flies. I don't know if you all have them in your area or not, but they have been everywhere. So I had the orchid man come out last week to spray the front of the house, the back of the house, inside of the house. Now that it's getting back warm again, I don't know what's going on with this weather, they're coming back out. So I was gonna put this at the front door, but it's just them bugs. So I'm thinking about putting a pumpkin over here in the fireplace, like right here somewhere. Change these out, do something different with that. I really don't have a plan as to what I wanna do. I just wanna switch it up for the fall before Christmas come. Cause y'all know I'm gonna be ringing out the Christmas decor. I'ma still go through that too later on this afternoon. I wanna change that up and I wanna change this up. So this, Milo, if you wanna move. So this is the rug and this is how I was going to put it at my front door with the pumpkin and I was going to layer on top of this my other rug that says welcome. So it's going to be super cute for the fall. I thought it looked really nice, but with them bugs being out there, it's not going to work. Those bugs been driving us crazy. They're called polka, polka dot lantern flies, if I'm not mistaken, but I haven't even been able to enjoy my patio, anything outdoors. Y'all know I wanted to work on the backyard this summer. It's been a mess because them bugs have been everywhere and I'm not going out there with them. So hopefully they go away now that the weather is getting colder. So then way I can enjoy my outdoors. We've been spraying them with vinegar because that's what they said on the news. We've been using vinegar and Dawn to spray the front, but it's like as soon as you open the door, they're right there. They trying to come in the house. My hair is just, I don't even, I don't even know. <laughs> she just doing what she want to do right now. I haven't done anything to it. I just woke up like this and this is how we going to look for the rest of the day until I do my hair, but I love it. I did have some regret as to cutting it so short it's funny because i originally went into the salon thinking i was going to get a twa which is a tiny wash and go a really really tiny afro and i'm glad i didn't do that because like i said the shape of my head and everything but when i got my hair cut the last time my hair was a lot fuller at the bottom i'm used to my hair being really full down here i don't mind my hair being off my shoulders i really like it i've been saying that for years i love my hair off my shoulders but it's usually more fuller i just gotta get used to it it's just hair it'll grow back i'm not stressing it but i was having some regrets the other day i'm like what in the world is going on with my hair i'm so ready to get back into decorating my house and doing my house to home updates how i was doing before quick update i did go around all of the doors down here on the bottom level and change all of the knobs and hinges to matte black, which is really nice. But girl, well, let me tell you, the first time I brought them, I brought a bunch of dummy knobs and I was thinking passage door for the closets and the pantry, things that don't need a lot. And no, they came with one knob and I didn't open them up until months later, so I couldn't even return them. So I have a bunch of dummy doorknobs. We ain't even gonna talk about it. The basement knobs and hinges is already done when they did the renovations. I do have plans on doing upstairs as well sometime next month. I really, really love the matte black against the white doors. Y'all, I just love it outside. Everywhere you turn, everywhere you look, it's like an oil paint picture during the fall. It's so beautiful, the colors of the trees. I just, it just makes me feel so good. I love fall. I do not supposed to be looking at Christmas stuff, but I like this one. I think I'm gonna get this one. This one is cute too. Look at this one. I'm trying not to look at that Christmas stuff because my husband and I usually do this together, so I'm not gonna look. Uh, I'm so proud of me because normally I don't record with my camera in stores. Y'all probably can't tell, but I use my cell phone because I'm still a little nervous about walking out in public with my camera. But today I took my camera in at home and <laughs> I'm just so proud of me so I'm gonna start pushing myself when I'm vlogging to use my camera instead of using my cell phone because I brought it first of all but um, it helps me build up my confidence as far as vlogging outdoors I just wanted to throw that in there got some floral arrangement from at home I didn't grab a lot but their fall stuff was 25% off and I think I'm just gonna add these to the pompous grass that I already have I'm not sure how it's gonna look um, if I just replace it and add these I don't want it to be too much I'm trying to debate whether or not I want to remove the leaf from the middle of the table because it's almost Christmas time and eventually we're going to be moving the sofa over because you know I always put my Christmas tree right here in the middle between the windows. So I'm debating whether or not I should remove 
the leaf. I mean, all six chairs could still fit here with the leaf from Look at him. That is what you call rotten to the core. But all six chairs could still fit here with the leaf removed. So I think I'm gonna remove this. I just told my husband to come and remove the leaf from the middle of the table so I could see what it looked like. He said the last time he did it, I didn't like it because the table looked really small. I don't remember. I don't remember <laughs> removing the leaf, but that's what he said. So we're gonna try that out later on. I do wanna leave out and go and get some new placements for the table. I'm doing pops of orange, the color of orange through the living room and dining room, but I don't wanna do orange placements. I'm a neutral girl. Y'all know I love my neutral colors. So if I could find something that would blend in with the neutral color brown tones and the orange. Now that I'm looking at my dining room and the pictures, I mean, it's fall. So pompous grass, I mean, it kind of goes, it goes with the fall. So I don't think I'm gonna change those pictures out. I might just wait until another season. I love the neutral tones. As the dining room this is what I came up with I kept it very very simple I just added this one piece of floral um, burnt orange color to the vase with the pompous grass I think that looked pretty cute I'm not gonna do too much with it I, again I love my neutral decor I love my neutral colors so I think just that one pop of orange is enough and then I add my pumpkin from last year with the candle inside I'm going to change out the face mask like I was saying before but I'm going to keep the pictures and the frames the same do you all think I should add a throw blanket over here I was thinking of getting a throw blanket that is this brown color and throw it over one of the chairs I did cancel a order that I had for a table that I was going to put under this picture right here like an entryway table I guess you would call it but I think a table there would look cute I just can't wait no longer for that table my patience has ran out I was going back and forth about that table anyway so probably don't need it if I had to think that much into it and had to wait that long. Today is Halloween and they're calling for rain. I feel like it rains almost every Halloween. It never fails. I do want to go out and drive around and look at all the different houses and their decorations. Halloween decorations, that's what I enjoy doing. We didn't go up to the haunted house just yet. I'm going to go next week and we probably just spend the evening watching some scary movies, but I'm about to go through this Christmas decor so we can figure out what we're doing. As much as I love the look of pompous grass, as soon as you touch it, it goes everywhere. When it's first told, it's all of the decorations that I use used last year for Christmas. This is when we did the black and white theme. So I'm not gonna be doing that again this year, but I know it's some stuff in here that I could use for this year. Maybe these ones, these are pretty neutral and they'll go and they match the fireplace. That's why I like using these brown tournaments and even these white bulbs, I could reuse these again. So I'm gonna go through this tote. Oh, this is so beautiful. And um, oh, look at Santa. He is just too too cute. I'm gonna go through here and see what bulbs and stuff I want to use for this year. This tote, we have all of the black and red theme that I did for Christmas. Actually, this was last year. The black and white was the year before last, so. But this is the black and red that I did the year before last. This tote has a lot of the traditional colors and the black and red that we did too. So I have my lanterns in here. I have another Santa and this huge P. That's an ornament, love that. And this tote is all of my colorful bulbs. All of these pretty, pretty colors. Non-traditional Christmas colors. So out of those totes, I was able to pull out a lot of neutral decorations that may go with the color that I decided to do this year. It's a bunch of stuff in here. I do have some more totes out in the garage, but so far this is what I have down in the basement. We're gonna try to incorporate these. Maybe not this Santa because he have on red gloves and I don't know if he's gonna go with the color or theme that we are doing this year for Christmas, but these are pretty neutral. So crazy because today is actually Halloween and I'm down here going through Christmas decorations. <laughs> I already put up my fall decor. I'm gonna add just a little bit more decorations to my fall stuff. And as far as my Christmas decor, I do need to go to a few more stores to grab some more decorations because this is definitely not gonna be enough. And I need to figure out what color I wanna do this year for Christmas. Let me know if you have any suggestions down in the comment section below. But I wanna do something different, something that I haven't done before. If you follow my channel for a while, you know I'm really big on decorating for Christmas. We're gonna ride around, look at all the decorations that people do for Halloween because you know they go deep into detail. I'm gonna do it next year. I keep saying every year I want to decorate for Halloween and I never 
ever do it so next year i'm preparing myself now while everything is on sale i'm gonna grab some decorations for halloween for next year now that i'm thinking about it i could actually use these placemats for my fall thanksgiving decor because it says gather gather and i think the other one says what does the other one say thankful i'm pretty sure it'll go because it's similar to how i was going to do the front door with the pumpkin and the plaid black and white mat so i'm going to put these on the table for my fall decor so here's an overall view of what the dining room table look like i just used the placemats that i used for christmas last year they go with fall they all say thankful and gather so i thought they'd come together really really nice i also grabbed this pumpkin right here from i want to say hobby lobby i'm not sure but I think that is really cute. I think that's enough. That's all I'm gonna do for fall as far as the dining room area. Then over here, I just threw the mat that I was gonna put at the front door. I just threw it on the fireplace and then I put the pea right here near this pompous grass and I added these floral arrangements right here. Just one, look at Milo digging in my bags over there. Just one um, small piece of floral I added to the pumpkin grass, not to do too much, but I thought that brought it out a lot for the fall. So that's really cute. And then as far as the sofa, I just added this plaid pillow cover on the pillows that I already have. I stopped buying extra pillows and just buy pillow covers. Then I pulled out the burnt orange one. And then on this side, I just kept it basic with the throw. I didn't buy any extra. I still have these pillowcases right here, which was the ones I had on before. And then I had another burnt orange one, but I don't have a pillow that's that size. So I may add one more, I'm not sure. And y'all know while I was in the store, I had to grab some Christmas stuff. I know, like what is too early to decorate for Christmas? And then for in the kitchen, I just grabbed this cute little fall towel that said homemade pumpkin pies, baked fresh daily. So I'm just gonna put this over here on the cabinet just like that nice and simple